What's going on guys, I'm the Inhuman Beatdown and I'm finally here to complete Spec Ops. Last time we went beat down Thanos for the last time. Got the ending dialogue and now I'm here to finish up by fighting the epic boss Darmara Fuck and I dropped my mic. Because I was trying to mess with it because it wasn't that easy because <laughs> Jerry rigging it between my keyboard and Xbox 360. God damn it. Controller. Anyways, I'm sure you're loving this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh huh? No, no, don't do that. Barely, but there we go. We're here to face the epic boss Dormaru again, because I already fought him. For story's sake. But now we're gonna go beat him. Also, one new thing. Uh, free digital comic of issue number one of Infinity for those who complete Spec Ops while supplies last. Codes will be sent via registration email. Register email. So I'm looking forward to that because I haven't read Infinity. Anyways, let's get done with this. I wish I could use Thane, but he's currently in training. Yay! And I, ha I think I still have... Uh, I still have one more fight I have to do. I already went and fight fought Corvus Glaive, Hood, and uh, Baron Mordo in one go again. I didn't get the Glaive, unfortunately. Kind of wish I did. By the way, I'm currently running the Armory of Adelan tools for weapons. They are so badass. Like, I didn't even realize how badass they were. I will briefly describe their abilities, but you can check out my full topic about them when I get into the Spec Ops field report. Currently I only have three out of four because the fourth one requires gold and sadly I'm poor. Or not poor but I don't have any money. Anyways, I'm not going to be able to do this till it's my turn to explain some of them. The basis of it though is that I become the, I become the meat shield. I become the blocker. Currently getting my ass beaten right now by it. Anyways, cut this off. Right, storm. Possibly kill everyone before I have a chance to talk about all this. Good, they're not all dead. <laughs> uh, I'd have been pissed about that. Uh, who's who's that? Who gets to attack? You. Okay, you just blow up. I don't even care if I do. Okay, so the basis revolves around this using the Protector of Adalam, which is the item we got for clearing 20 task missions. I can, I take reduced damage from enemies, uh, but I deal reduced damage to enemies. Yeah, so I do less damage to them, but I'm immune to, but I'm immune to, to words, I'll speak them right. I'm immune to anything that would get rid of counterattacks and protect abilities. Also, I get rebuff, which uh, basically means none of my buffs will ever go away. But using this is the key feature between the three items. I don't have the last one. Once again, I'll go over it at the end of Spec Ops. Uh, the Guardian of Adelan lets me protect from melee attacks, and I take reduced crit damage. The uh, Watcher of Adelan lets me block or uh, defend against ranged attacks, and I take uh, and I resist. I'm resistant to energy damage. With the protector, I can counter in both of those categories with the respective one. The guardian also uh, causes winded. And when I hit people with it, it generates a shield on me. It also does more damage when it has a shield on it. Or is that the other one? No, it's this one. Okay, this one does more damage when I have a shield on it. Yeah, deals extra damage when this character is shielded, so it's basically good to have. Uh, the Watcher, Countess Range Attack, uh, applies distraction to all enemies and applies Curative Watch. Allies have a chance to remove a harmful status effect at the beginning of each turn. So it's a fun little tool. <laughs> Let me show you how useful it is. Let's beat down this guy so I get my shield. And unfortunately, he's dead. We'll get to see it in its full use when I go fight Dormammu. Ha. 
Oh, thank God. I hope I hadn't screwed that up. Let's do this. By the deathless Vashanti, you will yield. Uh, let's get another tactician. So what he's gonna get to do with damps? Let's go hate him, because I haven't used him that much. And I just kind of hope that Doctor Strange goes first, because the gimmick behind Dormammu, Dormammu, and his uh, mindless ones here are the fact that they become the class of whatever hits him, hits them. So, fuck, Doctor Strange goes last. That wasn't very nice. Sorcerer Supreme! Anyways, so for this to work, I have to hit them with Doctor Strange so they'll all become blasters, and then me and Hank Pimp can go to town on them. Here we go. Quantum elixirs. So I have freaking 84 of them. See? So like that. And then a shot of the vapors of Voltor. Theoretically, they should be blasters. And they are. They're all blasters now. Except for Dormammu. I don't know what it takes him. Anyways, uh, let's get rid of the buffs. I'm still rolling the scroll of Anglebaugh because I don't have the last armory of Adelan thing. The might of Adelan, which is a gold item. So let's set this up. And let's go to go to town. I don't think I've used Hank Pym before, but uh, I don't think I've used him before. So I'll go over his his powers briefly. Uh, he was a Spec Ops hero. He was the Spec Ops hero before Vision. Obviously, he was involved around the creation of Ultron. He starts off with the both smartest man in the room. Each round triggers a new analysis, basically from having increased crit damage to constant crit damage to never being able to miss. I think those are his three buffs. And his his, his powers are pretty interesting. His first two pretty much go hand to hand, uh, which is uh, growing pains. He shrinks down, hits them, they get cornered and dizzy, and it's stealthy. The second one, Goliath Punch, exploits uh, staggered, distraction, off balance, poison, or dizzy. He caused staggered. Let's throw one army of ants. He summons an army of ants to attack all enemies and removes uh, counterattacks. His last one, bug squishing, targets all and deals deadly crits. But still, I think I'm going to use army of ants. And my turn again. I'm gonna use the Watcher to add distraction to them. Let's just go ahead and finish off this mindless one. Analysis. There's his first analysis power. I don't remember if I bitch slap. Yes, I still bitch slap him for that. Okay. I can't protect against them, but I can still counterattack. Anyways. Uh, by the way, his first one is. Ignores most advent. Ad <laughs> avoidance effects. Which doesn't matter here. None of them have any. So let's just go ahead and beat the crap out of them. Return to Maru. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Just because him and Hank Pym are a little weak. And because he's got the power of Prince Bellows to do it. So 
names of Baltine. I don't know what that does, but it doesn't matter because he dodged it. Now I'm going to punch him. Or, no, I'm going to hit him with a Watcher. That's fine. I forgot. Range attack, Watcher. Melee me, I could have hit him with a hammer. Well, I'm going to get him again. Which everyone seems to dodge. Doesn't really matter. By the way, this one, he now will always crit. So let's just step on Domaru like the bug he is. <laughs> because why not? It was fun. That accomplished, we've done everything. And Black Bolt's recruited. He wants to thank you for everything you've done for the Inhumans, Agent. You can count him as an ally, now and in the future. Bitchin. Go on, tell me I've got the tell me I got the uh Twisted gift. Come on. Yes! Oh, there is a god. Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Today's good. Today is good. Today is good. Hang on just a second. Okay, and I'm back. Let's accept the twisted gift. Tomorrow's hash. Yeah, we've seen that. Let's finish up this mission. And yeah, yeah, four star. And I got a piece of gold. I like just barely four star. Four star. Yeah, with that, Spec Ops is now done. The only other thing I could possibly do now is go and four-star everything for 24 lockboxes. Not that I need them, but I might. Maybe. Well, now I get to go level up Black Bolt and Thane some more. So, until next time, guys, I will catch you all later. Asta.